Trivia Night, a labyrinth of despair and madness. You know, like Mom used to make. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on like the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game! Okay now, first question. I love sitting on a grassy knoll and staring up at the clouds. What are those wispy clouds that exist in the highest elevation? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Welcome to the Kelly Floor. Let's play the finger cutting game. This one's a little ooky. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. There's no wrong answer. Or right answer. Chop. Drop. Cut him off with a big old chop. That finger ain't gonna chop itself, you know. We do have fun here. Here's how everyone's doing so far. But also know that who you are as a person is just as important. Here's another one. What are you eating when you eat capers? The correct answer is this. 
best of you, I want to show you something. Hey girl! Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Welcome to Trivia Night, a slow descent into permanent madness, but it's also the feel-good trivia fun time hit of the summer. You'll love it. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, those can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Am I still explaining how to play this game? Let's just actually play it. Okay now, first question. Hopefully nobody's skipping the first seven minutes of my game. Speaking of which, what comedian's podcast is titled WTF? answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. You're life depends on how you answer. What's the meaning of life? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. <laughs> Are you proofreading that thing? Hit send! <laughs> No 
answer? That's not acceptable. Your silence speaks volumes. Let's take a look at the scores. Now, don't get upset if you're in last place. Just do your best and know that you are special. But also, I will kill you, so do better. Next question. Not sure if their board of tourism brags about this, but... Archduke Francis Ferdinand was assassinated while visiting what city? Surprise for you. Hello, Guten Tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let's try.
Welcome to Faking It. I'm Cookie, and I'm excited and scared to see what you're hiding. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And yes, it's skippable if you're one of those people. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny, come up with whatever story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Some of the tasks will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling comfortable. Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. Everyone's gonna get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. This was the task. Raise your hand if someone has blocked you on Twitter. Go for who you think seems like the faker. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. The faker can only be caught if the vote is unanimous. So do your best to come to a group consensus. You get two more chances to catch that faker. <laughs> Sending your second Hands of Truth task to your devices now.
coffee taste weird? Oh, that's the nanites. They're little silicon robots that detonate should you turn out to be a double agent or go rogue. Just a simple behavior inhibitor. Oh, my God. Are they approved for paleo? I don't know. Attention field agents. The following nicknames have already been taken. Falcon, Viper, Little Pumpkin, Meemaw, Sleepy Pete, Goober, Terry Gross, Cargo Shorts, Chumbawamba, Spider, Spider with a Y, Clumpy, Demogorgon, the Dark Overlord, and Jonathan. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying a tweezer cam is gross. Yeah, but we have to inspect nostril right. trackers. One aggressive nose pick and it's out of place. Good point. Foolish humans. Hi, Deb. Oh. Attention all agents. The winner of the four days, four nights, all-inclusive vacation to the Area 51 Golf Resort and Spa. Whee! is Agent Aletto. Hi, Deb. Please report to the front desk to let us know your preferred dates, as well as your head size, so we can get a dark sack that properly restricts all vision. Congratulations. All right. Hey, Warren, can you do me a huge favor? Breathe it in. I'm not calling the State Department for you. Come on. I don't have an ex-girlfriend who works there. Why? I need ah. an autographed headshot of Colin Powell circa 2002. It's for my niece. I already got her a Madeleine Albright. Breathe it what, in. Is she a collector? She's 15. It's a phase. It's her birthday. Fine, but you owe me three I Pentagon favors, Ooh. understood? I don't know anyone at the Pentagon. Make it happen. Three, two, one. Here at the government, we are constantly watching everything. Even Larry practicing his dumb clarinets. You know what? You're dumb. Most of the time, we just send the data to the giant supercomputer that actually runs the world. But today, let's play... Espionage. Off we go. First up... I do. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people will eat french fries after they have fallen off their plates and landed on restaurant tables? <laughs> Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Guess 80%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Deb. Foolish humans. Time's running out, higher or lower. Are saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 56%! If it's not on the floor, the 10 second rule definitely applies. So, who picked lower? Well done, you get points. And what have we here? Well done. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people have photobombed total strangers? Seventy-five percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower?
Hurry up! I hear you. People are saying lower, and the correct answer is... 53%! When did this become a thing? Did people ever photobomb Polaroids? Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! Okay, who's up next? Ooh. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people did not read a single novel in the past year? Sixty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? saying higher and surveil says 30 percent terrible news. you need to be within 30 percent to get points let's see who got it right nice job i've got some points for you next up breathe it in uh, i don't know how about What percentage of people own jerseys that represent professional sports teams? 74%. Okay, higher or lower? Higher. And the correct answer is... 44%! Eh. Who got it right? Smart, yes. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? Hi, Dad. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people over 40 have drunk chocolate milk within the last year? 29%. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Now let's get to the right answer. 59%! Let's be honest, most of them were drinking in Sure. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points! Who's next? <laughs> let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people do not poop anywhere other than their own homes whenever possible? 61%. Everyone pick higher or lower. Breathe it in. 
Running out of time. I hear you. Most people said lower. Okay, right answer is... 54%! Some people live by this rule even when they travel abroad. That's commitment. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. As for you, ugh, I'm sorry. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. It's time for the final round. We faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. To what heretofore unvisited country do people most want to travel someday? And here are the most popular answers. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Good luck! See what you picked. Now let's take a look at the results. Let's see who's the head honcho. Breathe it in. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the most surveillance surveillance I've ever surveyed. That makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. All soda is called Coke, until you need to be specific. So you tell a waitress, give me a Coke. And I'll get a Coke. But if I'm saying I'm going to go get a Coke... You might get a Mountain Dew. Exactly. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Say, hey Rob, do you ever think there are people out there listening in on our conversations? Are you asking if I think there's people eavesdropping on the eavesdroppers? Yeah, I guess. Wow, that's pretty meta. But there could be, right? I mean, sure. I guess there could be a group of people gathered in a room listening to our conversations at this very moment. But I find that hard to believe. That would mean this group of work associates or friends or family members would presumably have nothing better to do right now than to circle around and listen to our inane conversations. Yeah, I suppose it is a pretty silly thought. I mean, 
mean, how pathetic would that group have to be? They could be enjoying each other's company, but instead they're actually listening to us. I guess you'd have to be a pretty pathetic group to do that. Exactly. They're the type of people I'd hate to be at a party with. I bet they're the type of party that puts out a veggie tray. A veggie tray. Yeah, and they probably have a pre-scheduled time for when the party ends. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Time to mosey on out. Oh, just thinking about a party like that bums me out. I'm sorry I ever brought it up. Me too. A group that would actually listen in on our dumb conversations? What losers? Attention agents. For anyone with lingering character traits from our intensive company production of A Streetcar Named Desire, mandatory deprogramming is at three, y'all. <coughs> um, yes. A reminder to all agents, inter-office romances are permitted but must be reported. Granted, we are well aware of them, we just want to hear you say it. Hey Tina, you get any interesting results from tapping into those cell phone cameras? Oh yeah. 50% of the people were taking selfies, 60% of which were in front of a bathroom mirror. 40% of those were scantily clad, gorgeous females, 100% of which reminded me that I need to up my personal grooming game. Yikes. Yeah. We've used these two tiny surveillance microphones hundreds of times. So you swallow this one. Okay. And what about the other one? That one's a suppository. Or wait, is this the one you swallow and the other? Um, maybe you should go see our doctor. I don't see why they can't get something in my size. It's ridiculous. If they're going to ask you to gather farm data in a giant rubber horse suit, they could at least get you an extra large. I just look so stupid right now. Hello? Hey Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and register trademark sign. That'll work. Oh, that's right, you're new here. Ah, it's just a nuclear event drill. We have them every month or so. Where where do we go? Ah, down to the bunker. What are you doing? Is, is that scuba gear? Ah, kind of. Ah, you should have a tank, a mask, and a regulator in the bottom of your file cabinet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Explain, please. Well, the stairs down to the bunker go 100 meters below sea level. The air's really thin down there. Well, and make sure you come back up slow. Don't want to get the bends, right? I don't think I can do this. I have a fear of depth. I'm depth-phobic. In that case, I would just hide under your desk. Hopefully the boss won't take a head count. Oh, good luck. It's 90 degrees. What happened to the air conditioning? Budget cuts. What happened to the ice in the freezer? Broken ice maker.
Attention Sector 5 interns, the toilet cam is in need of cleaning. Deep cleaning. Hey, did we ever get those results about whether cult members like chunky or smooth peanut butter? No, all of our field agents keep getting discovered and converted. Ugh, I'm just gonna say chunky then. I wouldn't have thought 55% though. Are you sure about those numbers? Oh yeah. It may not make sense to us, but that's how people under 30 eat corn on the cob. But why do you need a parasol? It doesn't work otherwise. Here I go, mopping the floors. <laughs> Pardon me, fellas. I'm pretty sure that janitor's a spy. Could be German. No, I think it's just for his own personal enjoyment. And here I come again. Mopping, mopping, mop, Rooney. Scooty up and eat not scooty. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's encrypted now. What? Come on! A reminder to all agents, we have a camera on the coffee pot, so we know when you take the last cup and don't refill the pot. This is your final warning. All right. Whee! Ooh. Hey, for the game later, can you pick up some finger food? Like chips and dip? Just take it out of petty cash. I already did. But there was only enough for one, so I got dip. You got dip without chips. What do we put in a dip? You said finger food. Fingers? Yep, I guess that's about our best option at this point. All agents. Please don't give Agent 13 doggy treats without making him roll over or speak. You'll spoil him. Reminder to all agents that once you attach a piece of surveillance equipment below your waist, you are free to keep it or burn it. Please do not return it to my desk. You know, the camera's picked up something really weird. Really? Yeah, it's behind a fast food joint. It's almost some sort of portal. A portal? Yeah, it's like some sort of swirling... I'm gonna stop you there. Is it possible it's like a dimensional rift? Maybe. Like a doorway to another dimension? I mean, it could be. I mean, I know that seems it's very unlikely. It seems very unlikely. Like, ridiculous. Kind of dumb. Like, not even worth talking about. Yeah, it's probably nothing. You want to get a lunch? Yeah. Ooh. To all agents, the break room refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Please remove all personal items. This includes condiments, lunch containers, and the frozen Hitler brain. Thank you.
So then I find out my wife Three, is an agent. Two, and you had no one. idea? No. The subliminal messaging worked. You're back for another game of... Espionage. Let's start with you. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people talk on the phone for at least an hour per day? answer 83% everyone else now it's your turn do you think the correct answer is higher or lower <laughs> the vote is lower and surveil says 15% and yes most of those people do sit right next to you on the train Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. 